This year, Apple has made the iPhone Pro interesting again. For starters, the iPhone 16 Pro feature set is identical to that of the Pro Max, yes, we mean cameras. But there is more, the previously smaller Pro model is now officially not so small as it features a new larger 6.3-inch screen with stunningly thin bezels. A slightly larger screen on the Pro model has been a dream for many and now it has come true. The iPhone 16 Pro comes with a 6.3-inch LTPO Super Retina XDR OLED of high resolution, refresh rate and brightness, as well as HDR10 and Dolby Vision capabilities. There is a brand new third-gen ceramic shield on top of it, touted as the toughest smartphone glass. Then there is a new chip inside the 16 Pro, the Apple A18 Pro with improved processor, graphics and memory bandwidth for better AI. The camera department has seen a significant update. First is the improved 48MP primary with next-gen sensor shift stabilization and with fusion capabilities for 2x in-sensor zoom. Next is the 48MP ultra-wide camera with autofocus, which promises incredible panoramic and macro shots. And finally, the 12MP 5X telephoto from the 15 Pro Max has arrived on the iPhone 16 Pro, and it has been upgraded with new sensor shift stabilization. The new cameras and new chipset also allow for 4K at 120fps video recording and spatial audio during video capture. There is also a new camera control key, with all sorts of sensors, aiming to make the iPhone feel even more like a camera. Finally, the iPhone 16 Pro offers next-gen MagSafe wireless charging based on Qi 2, it can do up to 25W. The new Pro models are also rumored to feature up to 45W fast wired charging, but we will talk more about this in a bit. Pros About as premium a build as you can get, durable too. Improved battery life, class leading even, depending on where you draw your class lines. Thoroughly competent camera system, now with 5x zoom. Cons Slow charging, galaxies are faster, even pixels are faster. No Apple intelligence at launch, for EU maybe never. Ultra-wide camera not quite up to scratch in low light. Verdict The iPhone 16 Pro brings all the good things you'd expect from it. The premium build makes a strong first impression and if Apple's talk on materials is at least half true, it should be a long-lasting impression too. Improvements to battery life across the lineup didn't skip the 16 Pro and it's got pretty much the best endurance in this somewhat hypothetical small Pro class. Also Pro is its camera system, now upgraded with better reach on the telephoto end and a new ultra-wide, that has its small missteps. The camera control is another potential plus for the right kind of user. Some of the Apple-specific downsides remain, the slow charging remains slow against direct rivals, not to mention comparing against the best in business. iOS is still fairly limiting, if you're coming from an Android, but that's not really an issue for longtime iPhone users, plus this year there are actual, and most welcome, improvements in customizability. We can also file our due complaints about the unfinished software, with Apple intelligence not ready for prime time yet, and the the camera control only halfway there to offering half-press simulation. In the end, the iPhone 16 Pro is shaping up to be the iPhone to get this year, the Max is too big, the others aren't pro enough, the previous generation isn't cheaper enough. Thank you for watching. See you next videos.